Welcome back guys. This is Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And today's test drive is this 1965 Pontiac Tempest. It does have a 400 under the hood. Power steering, power brakes, aluminum radiator. Very clean up under here. All the fenders, everything's nice and shiny. Nice and shined up. What I like to do is take them down the road, point out flaws so you know what you're getting before you get here. This one here has got drum brakes all the way around. American racing rims. Nice tires, pretty decent paint job, dual exhaust out the back, and a uh, pretty nice convertible top. We'll be taking it down before we leave here. Be sure to check out financing and shipping that we have available at maplemotors.com. 100 detailed pictures of every car on the lot. And of course, we're trying to keep inventory in here. We post 10 cars a week, every week. All right, guys, sit back, relax. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Before we take off on any test drive, we look around the interior, just check everything out. And we also place bets on the horn. Do you think the horn works on this one? A little game we play on the channel here. Carpet, eh, it's got a few little stains. Might be able to steam that out. The seats, a little bit of fading going on from the sun. Still in pretty good shape other than that. Back seat, same thing. Looking around on the top here, the top's nice and clear on the back. The inside here is clean. Visors, not too bad. We'll go ahead and unclip these because we're gonna be taking this down. It's a great day to be out here riding. I don't know what that was. Oh, okay, that is your weather stripping. Dry weather stripping on this one. It's probably, not, probably gonna need to be replaced. The side here is not bad, but we're talking up in the front. Okay, let's go ahead and start her up. Waiting on that engine temperature to come up. Uh, battery's charging and oil pressure's high, so that's good. Gas gauge is at quarter tank. We're gonna stop and get fuel. Uh, I'm gonna say that works. We can place bets on that one as well. By the time we get to the gas station, we'll figure that out. I'll put about $20 of the premium fuel in this ride. Wipers, you got high speed wipers, but then you stop them anywhere you want. If you want to ride around like that, have at it. <laughs> Blower motor, it is blowing pretty hard on my legs right now. Radio, turn it all the way up. We'll wait a second. I'm gonna need the key for that. Or two hands, one-handed bandit can't do it all. <laughs> Ashtray, a little stiff. Can't get that one open. Tack. Jack seems to be working. It's showing 18,000 miles. That's hard to stand behind in a 1965 model. Turn signals. Blinking on both sides. Horns, you place the bets. This one works. Okay, just, uh, just saying, I don't think the temperature gauge is going to come up, but if it does, I'll let you know. Let's hit the road. See how she runs and drives right after I drop this top. The top switch is here. Man, took off. Coming down pretty fast. All right, let's see what she looks like. I like to fold the visors in. You know, who wants them sticking above the windshield? Try these windows, nice and smooth. It's got a great sound out of here. Very smooth. And I'm gonna leave this window up because I'm gonna stick you all to it here in a second and we're gonna take off. Let's get it. like it's all plugged in back there i may look under the hood towards the end of the video when we do the walk around for the temp gauge just to make sure all right get seat belts on and let's head to the gas station anything i see you'll know about very easy to turn here 
steering wheel's a little bit bent though, you can kind of see it right here. Lump it up on me, it's not hit a cone. Speedometer's coming up on the dash. This thing's going straight as an arrow down the road. A little bit of slack in the steering, it's turning there and it's turning there. Not very much. Definitely got some pep brakes. They feel pretty good. Doesn't feel like a kick got hooked up. Brakes do got a little bit of a left pull when you hit them. the road I'm not having any kind of vibrations or issues this car is just silky only issue I'm having is my hair day <laughs> I promise guys I've been trying to take care of it when I shave people didn't recognize me up here I thought it was funny there was a guy that came in yesterday and was like I'm looking for Nick I said man he must have went to lunch I ended up telling him that it was me but I thought it was funny all right let's pull up in here and get about twenty dollars worth of fuel and Keep our on the road. Thanks. All right, got about twenty dollars worth of fuel in this ride. Put it in back here behind the tag. Been there, nice new gas cap. Look at that plate. Nice new plate. The bumper and everything looks like it's been replaced on this one. So far, this car's. Awesome. Keys. And hit them in the floor while I went to the gas station. Let's see, gas was right here. And as you could tell before, it was below a quarter tank, right there below it. Turn the key on. Look at her climb. She works. Good deal. Notice something about that. I think the ignition's got a soft spot in it. So what I did pushed it all the way over and then it stopped and I came back just a tad and it starts right up. So the ignition switch may be getting bad. It may be something that needs to be replaced. Check this out. Boom. She came up. I don't know why. Just randomly jumped up and started working. But it is. So uh, all the gauges are working. Good. Let's take off.
Time to roll out, guys. Everything's good so far. Good oil pressure at 30, edge of temperatures at 180. And I just did the full walk around point out chip scratches and flaws. We're gonna head back to the lot because uh, like I said, it's Thursday here in Tennessee and I got a lot to update on Monday. I try to get ahead on the videos, go ahead and make them. Uh, that's why sometimes you'll see cars that don't ever hit the website and I go ahead and post them on here and say, look, it's sold fast, but I made the video. Uh, I spent about two and a half hours most of the time making these. So I'm gonna put them out just to show you what inventory we got. But I'll always stay up cars available the playlist right here on the channel check it out and see what we got detailed videos but right now this car's available I may be uh, stepping up a little bit too far, but this may be one of the best riding ones of the update. Got a couple Chevelles up next that I'm gonna mess with, see what's going on, but it's gonna be hard to beat this. This thing's nice and smooth. The throttle feels good. The brakes, they stop fast. I mean, it's just drum brakes. They're power, but they feel great. Got good oil pressure, been staying cool. And it seems like everything's working other than the radio. That's an easy fix. Hey, I'm gonna cut through here. There's a barber shop over here. I may get my hair cut. <laughs> hey, why not? I came down here once before. They did pretty good. I get it cut pretty short for the summer anyways. But we're also coming by Brian's Motorsports. He's also got uh, a lot of different businesses connected to his. So if you come to Maple Motors, you can come down to this car customization shop. You can get your hair cut. you're gonna to wanna to check out this place for sure. He's got wheels, tires, parts, accessories. Pretty much anything you want done on a ride, check it out, brianesmotorsports.com. He's big into the SEMA show, if y'all know what that is. One of the largest car shows in the country, out in Vegas. And he does that every year. All right, we're going to pull up back to the lot and then we're going to be doing a picking out the flaws segment where I show all the flaws, chips, scratches, whatever I can find. So stick around to the end. Look below in the description. Check out some of our t-shirts. We got some new gear, merchandise down below. Uh, and you can see everything I use to make this video. I do appreciate it, guys. Don't forget, hit subscribe, share, hit like. That keeps me making these rides for you. Keeps us in business. All right, guys. Have a good one. See you later. Okay, picking out the flaws segment of the video where I walk around looking for chips, scratches, rust, whatever I can find. Look at the detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. Let's get started. Coming around the front bumper here, you can tell this one is a little bit older. The back bumper looked like it was new. This one's got some age to it. Still not in bad shape. A little scratches here and there. Headlight bezels are in great shape. The grill there looks pretty good. A little bit of age in the corner there. Coming around down the side lower portion first. Trim looks pretty good. Bottoms of these doors are in pretty good shape too. Let the 
chip there. It is. Up and over. Little chip there. So that back bumper's in great shape. Back to old midsection. A little hazy in this area. Like orange peel, maybe wet sand, a little buff job. Probably buff, honestly. Should help it. A little bubble here in the paint. Very hard to see, very small, but it is there. chip here light scratch on the windshield comes up and over down on the bottom too chrome looks good on the mirror little vent window trim there has got some pitting the seal looks good around the vent window too This top, you can tell it's fairly new. Trunk seal on this one is in great shape. It looks good. All your jams are looking pretty good. A little bit of pitting on some of the trim. If you get close, you can see it. Let's look down in that trunk. Oh, it's like slightly glued. I'm <laughs> just like ripping it up. All right, it looks pretty good up under here. If anything, a little moisture right there. But it's in good shape. Surface struts back here. It needs to be painted. Golly, look at this mess. <laughs> I'm gonna rip the whole thing up. It's pretty good in here. All right, I'll fix that when I get back. Looking around in the trunk. Coming down with the trunk lid. Keys are in the ignition. Shuts good. Got some dirt spots and stuff on here that are coming off. But as far as chips and scratches, pretty good. Lower portion on this side. Let's do it. Tires are in great shape, up and over. Slight little bubble in the corner there, really small. Little scuff here. Should be able to be buffed out. You can see it in the middle here, right above the emblem. It's like just a little orange peel spot. A little, little bit of that in the front here too. Door handle there's got a little bit of pitting on it. A 
little chip's been painted over there. A little cracking right here around the vent window, but not bad. You could see uh, some pitting around it as well on the trim. And the seal there, that's what was crumbling on me. I got a little bit of grease from that mat in the trunk on my fingers now. That's why my hands are always dirty, messing with these old cars. <laughs> Chipping the windshield here. Made it around this ride. Let's check out the inside. You can see a little bit of uh, sun damage in the seat there where it's kind of blotchy colors. Um, bag seat's in good shape got a little rust coming through these panels here the door panel there is sagging a little bit in the middle there's like cardboard behind that that's what's doing that the seal crumbly look at it starting to crack as I'm pushing it so, needs some new weather stripping In your jams here pretty good now the carpet overall looks pretty good it does have a few stains here and there you can kind of see people getting in and out it's gonna happen but should clean up the seat on this one not bad it's not ripped up just a little bit of that sun damage I was talking about The ignition, like I was talking earlier, if you push it all the way, it doesn't do it. Come back a little bit. I think it may need, end up needing a new ignition there. But if you hold it all the way, it wasn't. It won't start. It like passes it. If you come back just a hair, it starts. Let it go over everything here. Let's look at that oil pressure. Good shape. Good temperature. Nice quiet motor. Under the hood, got solid hood here on the edges. Not looking bad at all. Coming down with it. I like to shake it a little bit, that way it doesn't bend the hood. Because it was a little stiff coming down. Light little scratch right here. scratch there good deal guys if you're new to the channel hit subscribe share hit like i do make these videos ahead of time so if i get the video done and it happens to sell today is thursday and i update on mondays i want to go ahead and have the videos done for you by monday so i go ahead and make it but that being said if i make them and it does sell before then i'm going to show you what inventory we had in it does take a little while to make these videos 
and a lot of people appreciate that with that being said go to maplemotors.com you can see what's available monday at 11 first thing that's everybody gets the first chance there uh, we're not out pre-selling cars don't worry about that we try to get them all on the website go to maplemotors.com for finance and shipping detail pictures all of our inventory and i do appreciate you watching see you later have a good one